Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Chris's Hobby Garage Shop. Today I'm gonna show you how to make chains for your snowblower tire. So this is my tire over here. Now I'll explain later what the tie wraps are for but it really helps if you in the snow for grip if you make uh, some change. Now I already made most of this to cut down on the time but the first thing what we got to do is count the lengths around the tire so what I did is I chose 15 lengths chain lengths and by the way I chose the number two in a pack come 12 feet or 3.7 meters so the number two chain links and make sure they're straight chain links so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen plus your quick link which will go at the very end then I got one two three four five six seven seven links that'll go across which will hug it right about from there to there okay so the first thing I'll show you on the bench is how we cut these links to make them all fit so make sure you cut it where there's a little seam here so we'll take the grind the angle cutter and we're just gonna cut right there and then I'll show you on the vise how I bent it so we're back here on the vise and we'll put the link now I already welded this but I'll show you later on in the video how we're gonna weld it so let me cut it for you actually you know what why don't I just cut you a better piece right there <coughs> So I put it near the edge, get my grinder, make sure you get your safety glasses on. And what I do with a pair of pliers, comes out put it back in and just when you want to tighten it like so you don't have to weld it but I always weld it that little gap just for make it stronger so once again open it take it out then we'll go back and put it on our chain so we're back here again and what you do I already tightened these but just put it back on like this and then tighten it back on the vise next thing what we're gonna do is like I said before I like to weld it so I'm gonna get my welder ground it
always make sure you're in an open area. Have the garage door open. Plenty of ventilation. Not the best weld, but this little process, we can just cut it off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and put this on our tire. And I'll explain now how we're going to do that. So what we got to do is I like to deflate the tire. So I already deflated it, but just to give you guys an idea, take your cap. And take the valve out like so comes right out okay then what I like to do which I had them already made right here is I get these big tie wraps Put it around the tire just to squeeze that tire into the wheel because see so getting back to our tire i filled it up a little bit as you can see that green uh, slime prevent and repair has sealed it so remember the tie wraps or zip ties that i had before now what we're gonna do, so I could save the zip tie. Hopefully I don't puncture my tire, but anyway, it's not gonna happen. That's one. Bear with me here. Two little tie wraps. <laughs> okay. 
So we've pulled off all the tie wraps. Just wipe down that green slime. And that's, I'll fill up a little bit more air. seems pretty good and the tie wraps that we had you could just save them oops wrong way there we go you could save that tie wrap you could save a whole bunch of them now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hook this up to the snowblower and uh, check it out not bad if you want to save yourself some money do it yourself takes about maybe for both wheels took me about two hours so about an hour each okay let's go put it on outside so let's put this wheel on okay what a mess out here with all the snow oh brother okay that on yet. Take our bolt. Get a little tight. There we go. Not a bad job. So, like I said before, very inexpensive, around eight dollars for the chains. Um, quick links were about I don't know, around three dollars. Uh, I can't see being more than it was. I mentioned thirty dollars. Nah, probably twenty-five at most. So, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, Chris's hobby garage shop and we'll see you soon take care now